from Hollywood, it's the Tom Likas Show. What the hell is going on here? And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. Lots and lots of issues. They're not all political. They're not all news-oriented. Some of them are. But here we are on the cusp of Halloween. There's going to be Halloween parties. There's going to be Halloween parties everywhere. And um, Halloween parties, to me, are for people who are not in relationships. Great place to hook up. Great place to hook up. Women dressed like sluts. And the men who want to uh, look down their cleavage. Fantastic. A great place to go. Don't think I hate Halloween. I don't hate Halloween. I know that when women go out on Halloween night, they dress the sluttiest they do all year. You can see who the sluts are. And then it's pretty easy to pick the low-hanging fruit. No doubt about it. So if you are not in a relationship, a Halloween party is a great place to go to get laid. And I highly recommend it for people who are not in relationships and want to get laid. Don't get me wrong. I'm thrilled about you going to a Halloween party if your goal is to get laid. It's fantastic. But... Where I have a problem with Halloween parties is when you are already in a relationship or you are married. At that point, there is no need to go to a Halloween party. Why? Because presumably you are monogamous. Otherwise, why get married? <laughs> why move in with somebody if the plan is not to be monogamous? And therefore, you don't need to be ogling or to be ogled by other people. You already have somebody. End of story, done deal. And my recommendation to the boys is if she tries to drag you to a Halloween party, say no. Say no. Now, guys, the only way you should be going to a Halloween party is stag. To pick up chicks. How lame is it when a couple comes dressed as Bonnie and Clyde? Ugh. I hate that. You two people, isn't it cute? They dressed up like Abbott and Costello. I, I just hate that. The purpose of going to a Halloween party is to pick up strangers and hook up with them. That's the purpose of it. Now, for women, sometimes there's another purpose. And that purpose is to dress like a slut and bring you along. So you will see how many other men are willing to give her attention. It is her way of making you feel like there's competition uh, for her services. She goes out and wears as little as possible, and then walks around the party with drunken guys trying to grope her, or actually groping her. Drunken guys staring down her blouse, staring down her bra, staring up her uh, short skirt or her fishnet stockings or whatever she's wearing. What man would tolerate going to a party, dressing in a costume, so he can watch his girlfriend or his wife getting ogled and groped by a bunch of drunk strangers? The reason for going to a Halloween party if you're an adult is to hook up. That's the reason. That is the only reason. That's it. And here's something that's absolutely unacceptable. The idea that she is going to go to a Halloween party without you. You don't like Halloween parties. You don't like dressing up in costume. So she says, that's okay, honey. I'll go. You stay home. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. If she insists on going to a Halloween party without you dressed like a slut, 
You should call the 24-hour locksmith and have those locks changed by the time she gets home. Whenever that is. You don't, you can't change what other people do. You can't make her not go. But what you can do is not tolerate that in your life. There is no way I would ever be with a woman who goes to a Halloween party without me. It just wouldn't happen. She would go to the Halloween party without me, but she'd never come home again. That would be my goal, to never have her come home again. If she has you go to a Halloween party, you're a pussy. No two ways about it. You go to a Halloween party with your buddies. You go with a friend. You don't go with a chick. You don't go with a chick you're involved with. You go to get laid. You go to hook up with strangers. That's what it's for. And when she goes by herself, everyone's going to assume that that is why she is there. No, 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 no. Sure, she can go by herself. She can do whatever she likes. But you are not going to tolerate it, boys. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. It's 1-800-5800-866. Kiki hung up at the last second. Aaron on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. How you doing, Tom? Doing okay, Aaron. Oh, man. Pleasure to be talking to you. I know. <laughs> anyway, uh, really quickly about the Halloween situation. Uh, with my fiancé for the past, I don't know, about six years we've been together. and Ugh. Oh, it's been great. Uh, killing but... me, Larry. <laughs> Uh, what's it called? Uh, basically, we ended up, or well, I ended up telling her that, you know, I do own a business, I do do certain things, and I never really attend parties, and she got really upset because she's a big party girl. So what ended up happening is once I introduced her to what I do, I, I rent out a loft, basically, throughout the year, and she goes, oh, so basically your entire life is a party. I said, yeah, and after that, she's never left my side. <laughs> <laughs> So I got her at what she wanted, and I happened to have that. It sort of worked out for the total benefit of everyone. She's totally faithful. She's always there. She helps me manage the event. I mean, end up working out. <laughs> well, that part is good. Well, it was on. A, it was, the interesting thing was it was on a Halloween uh, party. That, that's how we. That's how we encountered each other. And, and why do you need to get married again? Oh no, 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 not yet, not yet. But why do you need to? Oh, we don't need to. It's just in the works. We're just talking about it. Why? Ah, uh, I don't know, man. It's about that time. I mean, what it's, it's about good. that time. It's about that time to hit yourself in the head with a hammer, too. Oh, uh, I've been doing that for too long, though. I mean, it's just, you get old, you just, you're done with old? it. Old? You're 26? Oh, man. It's, it's, I'm done with the partying. I've been doing it since I was young. I'm done with that. <laughs> Unbelievable. I've got more ass in the toilet. And even, uh, by the way, to. even, even, look, even if you want to be with her, why do you have to get married? Uh, well, there's always a prenup involved and all that good stuff. I do, I do know that there are uh, certain loopholes where they can get themselves, you know, more stuff either way. I do know that. But, I mean, it's, I've known her for about 16 years, you know? There's <laughs> really, That uh, doesn't mean anything. I've, I, I've, I've known plenty of people for 20, 30 years. Uh, I wouldn't marry them. Oh. Uh, I don't know. I guess on that note, teach their own. It depends on how you manage what's going on. I mean, I know your situation. I definitely know you, uh, at least through syndication. But <laughs> I don't know. I mean, just it's been working out since... Because, because you're not married. You think that it would change if we got married? Of like course it does. Say goodbye to your sex life, pal. It's going right down the crapper. If it hasn't already, after all these years of a relationship. Oh, no. It's still a, it's well, not as hot as it can be. Because you're not married. I don't know. You're probably right. I've, I've got to admit that you usually are probably more than often. More often than not. There I mean, you, I, I, you signing that contract. <laughs> Why would you do it? Uh, uh, I don't know. Honestly. I mean, it's going so well. Why tempt fate? Well, I mean, we 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 decided that we're going to at least take another five years to really come with a plan and a solid situation. But, I mean, within that time frame, I'm sure we can definitely know what's going to happen. I mean, don't you think? I, I there's it does not have to happen. 
That's true. Does not have to happen. And there's no benefit to you. You love the way things are now, right? Absolutely. Keep it going. Why do you need to get married? Yeah. We'll see how that rolls over, though, huh? Oh, boy. Yeah, I think you're going to be rolling over. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Guys, the purpose of a Halloween party is to hook up, for God's sake. Let's say hello here to Michelle on the Tom Likas Show. Hi, Tom. Hi. How are you doing? Great. All right. Well, I just wanted to let you know that I am having a Halloween party. I am married. My husband will be there. We're kind of hosting it our, both both together. And the people we're inviting are probably other couples and, and some uh, and some singles. And Why? It doesn't, because it's, it's a reason to kind of get together. Oh, why, but, and dress slutty. For what? To dress slutty. No, no, not to dress slutty. Just, just to kind of, just to kind of have have fun, have a soiree. You know, um, you know. Why do you need an excuse? Couldn't you just have a party? Well, we're having a party and it, on Halloween. You know, it's a way to kind of celebrate Halloween. But Make people, are, the women are going to dress up like whores. Uh, my friends are not going to dress up that way, and I most certainly am not going to. What, be dressing what up are you that all going to be dressing up as? Um, I'm actually not going to be dressing up. I have actually these, these masks that I created, um, from, I went to, you know, went to Michael's and, and made masks myself with my husband. So, you know, so we're just kind of, we're just kind of doing it for fun. It has nothing to do with showing mm -hmm. off my boobs or anything. I'm way past that stage. I'm, I'm very happy in our relationship and, and, you know, and it really has nothing to do with, I, I'm like, like you, I don't believe that uh, women should be dressing up on Halloween like sluts if they're, you know, I, I just don't see the point in it. But for, you know, but just to let you know, I am hosting a Halloween party in the hopes of having a good time, just, you know, just as a way to kind of, you know, get together, an excuse to get some friends together, uh, have some drinks, have some fun, um, play, you know, that new game Rock Band that came out, and then also at the same time, uh, you know, maybe just watch some some scary movies, you know, have a good time. Just you know, just kind of the theme of it. Book it right. together. Well, that, that certainly is is not what people are normally doing these days. Uh, adults now have turned uh, Halloween into like Carnival in Rio, and they all dress in the skimpiest outfits possible, and it's uh, become a very sexual thing. And I, I got no problem with sex. I absolutely love it. But if you're in a relationship, there's no reason for you to be going to a party. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. The Tom Likas Show. It's the Tom Likas Show at 1-800-5800-TOM. Halloween parties. Great if you're not in a relationship. Great if you're not married. Well, if your girl has a mind to take you to a Halloween party, it's just to to show you how many other guys want to sniff her crutch. <laughs> it's really what it's all about. Say no to that. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Harry on the Tom Likey Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How you doing today? Doing Okay. That's good to hear. Tom, when your opening intro came up, I was laughing my head off because this is exactly what I'm going to do. My girlfriend told me that she wanted to go to a Halloween party. So I was like, all right, cool, let's go. All right? But then she said, no, no, it's only going to be a girls' night out thing. I'm like, all right, no worries, no problem. Okay, I'm getting ready to call the locksmith to change the, uh, the uh, locks on my door. Wow. That's what you gotta do. You gotta change the locks on your door. That's it. When she goes to the Halloween party, the relationship is over. Over. I was already getting ready to dump her anyway. My bullpen is full. Okay, I didn't need her. I liked her. You know, she she was good, but yeah, you know, I was getting ready to dump her anyway. Well, good for you. So, what a great way to get rid of her. Oh, it's great. And now it comes up the ho uh, holidays. Now I know what to give thanks for. That's at right. Thanksgiving. That's right. And now you can go out to a Halloween party yourself and have a good time. You're damn right I am. <laughs> All right, Tom. Hey, take me out Chris Benoit style. Chris Benoit style? 
Yeah, you know the wrestler who killed his kid? Yes. His and then hung himself? Yeah, we did have a style for him for about five minutes, I think. <laughs> we can't find it. They can't find it in the 360, though. It's uh, apparently didn't made the transition over to uh, CBS from Westwood One. But uh, thank you for that. It's one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Here comes uh, Christina on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. Hi Tom. How are you? Doing great. Good. I have a problem. W- what do you feel about going to a Halloween party? Well, actually. My boyfriend was supposed to go to a Halloween party with me, and all of a sudden, he doesn't want to go. So instead of sitting at home... Oh, no, no. Miserable, he, uh, let me tell you something. He never wanted to go. Yes, he, he did, no. he invited me. That's, that's he invited true. you to a party and then decided he didn't want to go? Well, he never wants to go anywhere. All he wants to do is stay home. Well, why did you pick a guy like that if it's important for well, you to go out? Of course, he wasn't like that in the beginning. Well, but... you still have time to get out. Why are you still there? Because I love him. Because I love him. <laughs> yes, yeah, I yeah, love What does him. that tell you about somebody you love who, you know, you have fundamental differences with? Well, I think he has a lot on his mind. He works a lot. He just doesn't like to go out. But I'm tired of sitting at home. So, so you're going to go and dress I'm, like a no, slut and go no. to a Halloween party? No, I, I don't think I'm going to go to a Halloween party, but I want to. <laughs> I just don't want to feel. Uh, I just don't want to go through the drama. So where are you going to go? Where am I going to go? Yes. I wanted to go to the party we were supposed to go to. Yeah, but if if he doesn't want to go with you, where are you going to go? Where am I going to go? Yes. Actually, I probably wouldn't go. You just said you would go. No. I don't want to deal with the drama, but I think it's it's crazy of you saying that girls that go without their boyfriends are just looking to be attention whores. That's what they do. Why do they dress like sluts without him around? That how do you know they don't dress like sluts with their boyfriends? Uh the point is when he's not there, it sends a message to the man at the party. Mhm. Well, if he's not there then maybe the girls shouldn't go without their men. Uh, I I would say, again, for me, when you're in a relationship, she does not go to Halloween parties without me. That's it. Okay, but you also said that a couple should not go to a Halloween party, period. Well, they did. Because, again, again, usually the purpose is uh, the woman wants to go dress like a slut and get as much attention from the other man at the party as possible. I, I have no interest in being shown up like that. Okay, Tom. Take me out with a bomb hit, please. All right, here you go. <coughs> Kyle on the Tom Like a Show. Hello. How's it going? It's going great. Uh, long time listener, first time caller. Yes. Okay, um, I think there's one exception to the rule. Um, you're saying you can't go to a party with your girlfriend already because what's the point? Um, but here's here's my side on that is that I'm going with a bunch of my friends that are also single, and I'm going with her, too. So I'm doing the best of both worlds, basically. But how is that the best of both worlds? She'll dress up like a slut. Other guys will grab her, grope her, stare at her. How is that good for you? She, it's, it's all good. I mean, she's right next to me. Nothing's happening like that. My well, friends are doing so she's not going to dress like a I'm so she's not going to dress like a slut. Nope. What is she going to dress as? <laughs> uh, Harry Potter, that girl. The girl from Harry Potter. Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah. All right. I think I think that's the exception to the rule. If you're going with some other friends, but if it's just the two of you, I could see what you're saying though. I I just don't want to dress like a slut. <laughs> Yeah, well, I think there's still the exception to the rule. I think you can mark that in there. Go dress like body of body and Klein. <laughs> but uh, I mean, that's it, really, though. Okay. Take me out, uh, take me out, Tom Likas style. He wait, wait, well, get off my phone, you jerk! <laughs> shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! I forgot that we had Tom Likas style. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom, it's Stephanie on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Uh, 
Tom. Um, you know, you normally I don't care what you have to say about women and all the, you know, I think it's entertaining and funny and all these women that call up and whine and complain and say, oh, you're awful. I can't believe you say all that crap. Um, doesn't bother me. I think it's funny. I think they're lame. But uh, this one kind of gets me. I don't, I don't see why, why we can't go to a party, why we can't have fun. Because um, that, that kind of fun uh, is not going to be in my future if I'm in a relationship. Yeah, but you don't want to be in a relationship. What is the no, no, I, I'm talking to those who are in a relationship. Yeah, but what, maybe it makes the relationship better. They go no, have fun. it doesn't make it better. It makes it worse. How is it, why? Because you want to go to a party? And no, not and it's totally. not about the party. It's about you dressing like a slut. Yeah, but maybe that's a turn-on. Uh, it would be fine. You know what? You want to dress like a slut uh, behind closed doors would be fantastic. Uh, but, so you, you do like not. Other you do not need. Your... I, do, I do not need to show you off to the other people at the party dressing like a slut. You don't like that. You don't like that other men think your girl's hot. I I, I don't need to advertise it. Yeah. Well. I suppose advertising, but not, not to mention the fact that when you when you get, when you let a woman uh, uh, get all of this attention and all of these compliments and all this groping, whatever it is they're getting, what ends up happening is it puffs up their ego and makes them much harder to deal with. No, yeah, I could see how you say that. That's, uh, that's that how it is. True. So you you definitely don't want to do anything that's going to build up her self esteem. Okay, damn, Tom, you got me. I don't know what else to say. You know, it's true. Yeah, no, you're probably, I guess I thought I had a point, but and when you, it would puff me up, and I like to get attention, and I think it's fun, but it doesn't necessarily mean I'm going to go run around. And but, there's no whatever, benefit, but. but there's no benefit to the guy to do that. Yeah, I see. Okay, to the guy, no benefit. You're right. Okay, you win. <laughs> Tom like it. 1-800-5800-TOM. Tom. 1-800-5800-866. The Tom Likas Show. It's the Tom Likas Show. It's one 800 800 tom That's our telephone number. Why, why, why in the world would you want to go to a Halloween party with your girl dressed as a slut? Or worse yet, to let her go on her own? Why? Pete on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello? Yes. Tom, first time, long time. Cool. Um, I just want to tell you that I totally, 100% agree with everything that you say. And you, you, the only reason you should go to a Halloween party is to go by yourself. You know that old saying, don't take sand to the beach. That's right. And, you know, I've, list, I've been listening to you for maybe about six months, and you totally changed my mind about how I used to think about women, about relationships, and everything. I want to make you my godfather, bro. Sounds good to me, Pete. It's Keith. Oh, okay, it says Pete on the screen here. Oh, yeah. That's how Dean spelled Keith. P-E-T-E. -E. <laughs> all right. All right, well, that's all I wanted to say was keep on rocking on and uh, take me out. Can you take me out with a bong hit and a sleep dog? Yes, yes, I can, Pete. <laughs> Biatch, says Pete. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to uh, Dario on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. This is the first time caller. Yeah, I know. Listen, listen uh, you're absolutely right. If your girl is going out by herself, they're going out to get laid. Halloween parties are not what they used to be. Now, if you're going to go out with your girlfriend, you better make sure you get laid, too. With some of her girlfriends. <laughs> and we're going to do that, not at the same party. That's my rule. That's if your she's rule. Gonna go, if she's going to go out by herself, then I want to go out. And if we're going to go out to one of her girlfriend's parties, then I got to get some, too. I see. There's no ifs and buts about it. It's, it's a, it goes both ways, you know what I mean? Well, you've been so to many of our listeners. Hello, Jessica. Hi. Hi. So? Hello. So, uh, what is it you think that someone can't go to a Halloween party dressed slutty alone or with a boyfriend? Oh, well, no, no. You, you can go, but if you were in a relationship with me, this would be changed when you got back. 
Why is that? Because if you're going alone, that is to get male attention. I disagree because I'm 22 and I'm going to a lot of Halloween parties this year dressed as Sarah Palin, a sexy Sarah Palin. But I just think it's fun. It's fun to go out with your girlfriends and it's fun to. Why do you need to you. dress? Why do you need to dress like a sleaze? Oh, you know, I guess it depends on what you consider a sleaze. But I think looking sexy and pretty is fun. Well, um, well, you know what? If you have a boyfriend or a husband, that's for him. It's not for others. He likes. He likes that. Uh, when he comes out with me, he likes when I look cute. Why would he want to... Looking walk cute and looking slutty are two different things. Well, slutty, okay. Let's say sexy. Uh, again, I think he's a fool uh, because what happens is that puffs up your ego, your self-esteem, and then it makes things more difficult for him. He, he should not tolerate it. But, Tom, see, if I'm not feeling good about myself, then things aren't good for him. If you're not feeling good about yourself, you'll do all kinds of things. Things you may regret later. Exactly. So I have to feel good about myself all the time. No. I, I, our hope is that uh, if you're going to do something you regret later, you do it with us. <laughs> okay, fine. Deal. Thank you. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Rachel on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Um, first of all, I just think that if a girl goes to a party, she wouldn't go alone. She would go with girlfriends. That's yeah, well, that, what does that mean? Well, I mean, for you... So you're telling, me when, you're telling me when you've been out with your girlfriends, none of you girls ever met a man? At a party? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And, That's and my it, point. Going out with your girlfriends guarantees nothing. Your girlfriends will lie on your behalf, and you will lie on their behalf. That's how it works. But if and and, and I'll bet I'll bet you've already lied on their behalf. Uh, no. No. Do any of them have boyfriends? Um. Yes. Have any of them ever met a guy at a party when the boyfriend wasn't around? Yes. Did you ever keep their secret? Oh uh, yes. There we go. You lied on their behalf. <laughs> but that's not. Yeah. You know, that's why I wouldn't tolerate it. Well, but a girl can dress slutty if she wants. You well, know. you can dress slutty if you want. You can be somebody else's girlfriend too. <laughs> but you and know, guys have to, but guys have to put that. their foot down to say no. But if he has issues with that, then that's that's because he's self. He's he's not he's so self conscious about. No, it. it has nothing to do with being self conscious. You're out there to get the attention of other men. If you want the attention of other men, you don't need to be with me. Oh. Well, I mean... I would never try to stop you if that's what you want to do. Go do it. Goodbye. <laughs> so taken aback by what I said is Rachel. She is speechless. Hello? And now trying to think of what she wants to say next. She starts with hello. <laughs> well, I guess, you know, you, you have a point, but sometimes you don't. So can you just take me out with a screaming <laughs> orgasm? I'll bet I could. Oh, oh, God. Oh, yes, yes, yes. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. Dave on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. How are you doing, Dad? Doing okay, son. Right on, man. You know, you're, you're so on with this. If you tell your girlfriend, you know, what you're telling her, you know, like, don't, you know, I want you going out and stuff, she's going to throw this attitude at you like you're some jealous guy or you're controlling and all the rest. Right. You know? And it's just basic. It's like, you know, it's like having guy friends, you know, especially if you're with a young girlfriend. Right now I have a girlfriend who's like 10 years younger than me. And, you know, she has these guy friends all up on her. It's like, I don't know what they're after. It's the same same premise, you know. She's going to go out there and it's like, you know, I don't want to be a controlling, jealous boyfriend, but that's what's going to get thrown in your face if, you, you know, you tell her, you know, this, thing, this isn't going to fly. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, you know, she's got that profile. Where she's got 812 friends on setonmyfacebook.com. <laughs> and and uh, 812 of them are, are, are guys. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So how, how do you how do you approach the problem without coming off like some control freak? You know? Well, I, uh, here's the thing. She can do whatever she wants. Uh, women who want to do that could not be in a relationship with me. That's it. 
Yeah, you're right. What you know, I got what I wanted. I had sex with you, but if you're going to go out now and advertise to others, then our time is up. Yeah. Absolutely. You know what, man? You, you, you put it really clear. Right in perspective. Thanks, Dad. Thank Thanks. you. Appreciate the call. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Anicia on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. First time, long time listener. Thank you so much. I just want to say that there is a benefit, definitely, to the man whose who's girl is going out to these parties dressed like a slut, whether she goes with him or she goes by herself. And that benefit is she's going to get lots of attention. She's going to be all puffed up, like you say, and she's definitely going to puff him up, too. Let me tell you. Any woman who needs other men to get turned on is not my woman. That's it. Oh, uh, That's fine. We don't want to be your woman. That's fine. <laughs> No, if, you need, if, you need, if you need to go out and get attention from others to get turned on, I'm doing something wrong. We don't have chemistry. There's something wrong with us, and therefore, you and I shouldn't be together. Well, that point, you know what? Actually, you're starting to make a lot of sense to me right now. Maybe that was from the <laughs> last husband. <laughs> I don't need to do that. It's been a long time since I've had to do that. Interesting. That's how it is. Yeah. But at the same time, you know, I've noticed that the man was definitely getting pleased and actually made a comment of, uh, hey, I should let you go out with your girlfriends more often. <laughs> you know, so he was getting what he wanted. Apparently it was all about business and the sex was good when I was sexy. <laughs> well, you know, that's like the people who need porn, who need uh, trips to the uh, Hustler Hollywood store, or the pleasure chest, the people who are constantly going out and buying oils and creams and you know, various rubberized products uh, because they, they just aren't getting it down the regular way. Yeah, that's true, but that's a big business, though, isn't it, well, It's a big business because how many people have lost interest in each other? You know what, you're right, yep. Yep, exactly, but... Uh, you know, yeah, it's, isn't it, join them. don't you find it <laughs> fascinating that when two people meet, they don't need any gadgets, they don't need creams or oils, they just jump right in. You know what, you're right. I'm currently in a situation like that, and it's awesome. If you're listening out there, hey, buddy, you know who I am. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, you go to these stores where they sell sex toys, uh -huh. and, and there are these people that look like beaten dogs out there. You know, they, 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 they know they've got the stink of death. They've got to pick the right item to try to perk things up or things are going to be over. <laughs> this is true. No, when you hear that, that voice in the other room, honey, I was out today and I got this cream. Oh, was, we can use it when we make love. Oh, my God. <laughs> kill me. Just kill me now. Oh, that is so funny. I want some of that. <laughs> it's so, yeah, but the thing is, it's your relationship is so close to over when, you, when you're in that stage. Yeah. Invariably, that's always the, the month or two before the whole thing ends. Yep, that's the sign. This is why I listen to you, Tom. You're absolutely right. Yep. I, I've seen the end so many times, so I know when it's coming. But I got to tell you, I think there are guys out there that would agree with me that when their girl goes out with their girlfriends, they're coming home and they're getting pleased, let me tell you. But that also doesn't mean that the girl was not out making out with half the guys at that party or giving them some uh, oral gifts or whatever. <laughs> I have seen that happen. And, and Oh, now they're really turned up. <laughs> Yeah, well, something's wrong with them if they're not paying attention, that's for sure. That's what I'm talking about. Tom. 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 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. The Tom Likas Show. The Tom Likas Show from Hollywood at 1-800-5800-TOM. Boys, say no to the Halloween parties unless you're going on your own. If you're going stag, they're great. Go hook up. Don't let your girl go. Are you kidding me? Gina on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello? Yes. Hey, Tom. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, I'm sorry. Anyways, I, I feel this is like a huge insecurity. It's like a double standard. Give me a break. What? It has nothing to do with insecurity. Guys, what it has to do with is I want to keep, uh, if I'm in a relationship, I want to keep my girl insecure. I don't want her getting her self-esteem boosted by guys uh, staring at her and trying to grab her. I, I don't want that. She's, she's by your arm. She's with you. 
No, but they're the not. Ones. They're not always you know what, by. Not that you are? They're not always by us. Believe me, they find other people to talk to. Sometimes I find other people to talk to. They're moving on their own. Sometimes. Why not show her up though? I mean, she's with you. She's gonna go. I don't need too. to. By the way, I don't show off cars that I own. I don't show off gadgets that I own. And I okay, certainly okay. have. Exactly. I certainly have no need to. If I'm with a woman, I do not need to show her off. I wanted to take her clothes off when she's in the bedroom and uh, ride me like a pony. But I have no need to show her to other people. What's the point of that? I don't get it. I feel this is probably just an insecurity. With it's you not. Again, darling, darling, first of all, you're not a psychiatrist, so uh, don't dabble in areas you have no expertise, okay? You, like you have you know, no know, like, expertise in that area, and you're really skating on thin ice. Like super, I'm telling you, it is not a matter of whether I have in insecurities. It is a matter that uh, when a woman goes to a party and gets that kind of attention, She's she is going to reduce her insecurity, and I'm not looking to do that. But, okay, what's the big deal of her looking at that, though? She can look good. She doesn't have to dress like a slut. That's crazy. No, it's not crazy. Yeah, that you know the difference between looking good and dressing like a slut. Okay, uh, for example, you can look good when you go to the office. Slut. But I I don't I that that's fine. But when you go to a party uh, dressed in uh, a, a skimpy outfit, that's a whole other story. Okay, Tom, the message that you're giving out is saying, okay, let the girls stay at home, and you could go out looking out for girls, but yet women can't do that? They can do whatever they want, but now as long as they're not with me. But you, you don't have a relationship with anybody, so... I well, mean, but, that's, 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 but yeah, I'm saying if I were in a relationship, and uh, if any of the guys listening are in a relationship, they shouldn't tolerate this. End of story. And women should tolerate men treating them like that? Uh, when did I say women should tolerate men, G? What does that have to do with what we're talking about? Men go stag, go by yourself, go with I didn't say to go stag if you're married or if you're in a relationship. I say, I, What I'm saying is if you're not in a relationship, that's a good time to go to a Halloween party. Okay, so you're just basically talking to the single people out there. Not I'm talking to people who are, put it this way, I'm telling guys the only people who should be going to a Halloween party are people who are not in a committed relationship. Why not? Because I, you already heard the reasons. People who are in relationships are not allowed to have fun in your They life? can have fun. I don't need the woman I'm with going out and dressing like a slut. So you want her just to be home just for your pleasure? No, I, I, she doesn't have to dress. What, why? You know, you can't see anything in between going out and dressing like a complete whore or staying home and never going out. There's no in-between. No, not really. Not when it comes to being so like there's a two, Halloween party. There's only two extremes. There's going out and dressing like a prostitute, or there's staying home locked in the dark and never coming out and seeing the light of day. And there's nothing in between. Is that what you're saying? No, I see what you mean, but I mean, you make it seem like every girl that's out there in the Halloween costumes... Ever Halloween been to a Halloween and- party? The vast majority of them these days. The vast majority... And I go to Halloween parties. The vast majority are dressed like sluts. Huh? I, I do, and I've gone with my husband. I actually met my husband at a Halloween well, party. They, well, wonderful. Slut, then there's no need to go out and dress like a slut anymore. So you're basically talking about couple people, the girls looking in your eyes like a slut, and... It doesn't look good on the man. Uh, what I'm saying is it does not do the man any good to indulge a woman who wants to go out and dress like a slut and, and show off her merchandise in front of other guys. But if you do you to take home, why not? Big uh, deal. Because. Uh, because. Like anyway. Because it, it gives women an attitude. It builds up their self-esteem. It builds it up in such a way that I'm not prepared to live with. Women will throw it in a man's face. You know, we were at a party a few weeks ago. Every guy there wanted to be with me. And if you're going to treat me like that, I just want you to know that every guy wanted me. I had 27 guys give me their phone number. Everybody wanted me. No. No. I'm not I'm not giving any woman that kind of leverage. Ever. Oh, because that's happened to you before, I'm sure. It happens to everybody. Well, men get attention, too. They're not supposed to. I mean, well, doesn't mean I, that I'll tell you what. If I go out dressed as. I'll tell you what. If I go to a party dressed as flea for the red hot chili peppers, you should change the locks when I come home. Okay. All right. Have a good one, Tom. Have a happy holiday. Yeah, you too. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello to Irene on the Tom Likas show. Hello. 
Hi, Tom. How are you? Great. Um, I've been um, here in the last few minutes, actually the last 45 minutes, um, and you on a lot of um, um, what, you were, what you had to say. And um, I wanted to know a question. Um, what do you consider um, slutty? Slutty means you are wearing less than the normal amount of clothing. Okay, so meaning, because I know... Looking like you are um, sexually available, or like oh, okay. you are ready to sleep with anybody and everybody. Okay, basically lingerie and that type of thing. Lingerie, bikinis, uh, less than the normal amount of clothing. Okay, okay, yeah, and I, I do agree with that. Um, I, you know, as myself, when I was younger, um, I did, um, of course, attend Halloween parties, being single, you know, and... It does um, give guys more. When you do dress like that, I mean, you know what? I First of all, I know how to carry myself as, as a woman. I've never had to dress slutty for a man's attention. Um, I've always grown up that way, you know. Um, I'm a mother, and um, I'm over the going out, you know. Now it's more, you know, about my, you know, my son. And um, so... I mean, back to the days when I was younger and I was single, it, it did. It, it gave guys an excuse to grab on you. And these girls, and I would see these girls getting grabbed on and disrespected, and then they wonder why men treat them this way. I mean, as for myself, um, a woman should carry herself, you know, like a woman, not, you know, men. That's why men look at us that way. That's why men talk about us that way, because we don't carry ourselves and there is, like you said, there is costumes that are cute and, you know, a little bit of sexy, but not showing too much because you're just giving guys the wrong impression. And, you know, men are going to disrespect you. By the way, they're given the right impression. That's the impression they want to give, that they are available sexually. Yeah. And then they wonder and they cry about it. Why is he doing this to me? Then, you know, they react on why men grab them. And they're only upset about the men grabbing them that they're not attracted to. If it was a guy they were attracted to, they wouldn't even complain about that. Yeah, and I mean, I, that's what the thing. I, I And then that's why we wonder why men talk bad about us and call us sluts and whores. I mean, we're all not, we're, we are not all sluts and whores, but, you know, they it does, it, it gives them, you know, I mean, it's not... It doesn't give them the right to disrespect. First of all, men shouldn't disrespect a woman no matter how she's dressed. Well, they're going to disrespect her if she goes out dressed like a slut. The Tom Likas Show.